Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add additional block lists to your Pi-hole server. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. Now, let's get started with today's video. So I'm signed into my Pi-hole server and you can see here there are over 81,000 domains on the block list and these were installed with the initial installation of Pi-hole. So today we're going to add more domains to this list. So to do so, let's come over to the left menu and click on settings. From there, let's go up to the top across the top and let's click on the add list tab. And you can see it brings us to the page where it says add list used to generate Pi-hole's gravity. So we're going to click on the group management pages link. And you can see here's the URL text field where we can add additional lists. Now, you might be asking, well, where do we get them from? So I'm going to use a, a website today called firebog.net. So let's click over to Firebog. And you can see it says here the big block, the big block list collection. And if we scroll down and take a look, you can see it has suspicious lists advertising lists, tracking and telemetry lists, malicious lists, and other lists. So to add any of these blocking lists to your Pi-hole server, you simply highlight and copy the list, go back over to your Pi-hole server and just paste the address in the text field and then click on add. And you can see we got a successful message here that says added the add list. However, if we jump up to the dashboard again, you could see here that it still says 81,113. This number hasn't changed. And that is because, let's just go back to settings and add lists and group management pages. Even though we added that block list to Pi-hole, it's like we queued it, but we haven't applied it. So what you have to do then is either please run pihole.g command in your command line, or you can update the gravity list or update Pi-hole just by clicking the online link here. But before we do that, let's, let me just show you that you don't have to just copy one link at a time. We can copy multiple links. So let's go back to Firebog and let's just say I want to take all of these suspicious links here, not the ones that are, that have the strike through, just the ones that are available. And let's just Let's do it again. I just don't want to copy the same one that I copied before. So let's go all the way up to there and we're going to just right click and copy. And now we'll go back to Pi Hole. We're just going to paste into the address bar and you can paste them all in and then hit the add button. And you can see here it successfully added all of those lists. Now, if we want to see that number updated on the dashboard, now we'll click on this online link and then click on update. And now it's taking all those queued lists and it's actually updating Pi-hole. So this may take a few minutes, so we'll just wait and see what happens. If you're finding any value in today's video, please hit that like button. It lets the algorithm know that you like what we're doing here on the channel. Now, back to the video. And there we go. So now, if we go back to our dashboard, Now you can see that the domains on the block list jumped from 81,000 to 132,000. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos listed up above. Remember, subscribe, like, and share this video. And thank you guys for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.